Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name's Kevin, this is O'Neill, and welcome to the shop. Today, we're going to be gluing in and finish gluing all of this. So, first we're going to wipe everything down with some acetone. You don't want to get any acetone on the paint. We want to make sure we get glue built up in here. And if we got enough, we're going to spread it around. We're going to get this in here. And with this fine hole that we drilled in here yesterday, we're going to bring this through we're going to add glue to it as we go, and as we go, glue's going to go into here. And that's going to seal that in there. So, another most important thing here is weighing your epoxy. Retard out to zero on this. Terror. So we're going to have a good bit in here. I'm going to start off with 10 grams of that. Okay, there we go. Always weigh your epoxy. Always. When you start stirring it, you're going to see it get cloudy. You stir until it gets clear. Once it gets clear, it's fully mixed. We're going to want about three eighths of an inch tube sticking out. Okay, so we done turn clear now, except for the uh, air bubbles. careful to keep your epoxy jug in the boat and all your movement away from the paint job. So I'm turning it as I go. We're going to want about 3 8 sticking out and there we go. Alright, so we're going to start getting it filled in here. Getting all these motor mount holes filled in. All the screws have been coated with silicone spray, so no need to comment about that. It'll peel right off of those. Working with five minutes, you don't have a long time. We're wanting to seal the wood right now.
then we're going to hit it with a hot air gun lay it down get the bubbles out we're wanting to seal all the wood make sure no water gets into it the little black hairs try to get as many of them up as possible these brushes are cheap but you're throwing them away every time all right. here if you need some more did I get this up? I didn't oh, we're done on that okay whenever it starts to pot out Things epoxied in nice and good, sealed up. The stuffing tube is coming out. What we'll be doing with this is putting a quarter inch in that because the particular strut we use is, we're using is a quarter inch. The Teflon tubing or the liner will go in so far to this point, and then the rest of this will go with a piece so you can change it as you want actually be your bushing still has to be greased just like all struts have to be greased but other than that we'll do another coat later on once we get everything in it all this is nice and hard right now so that's it ladies and gentlemen hit like and subscribe the owner of the boat O'Neill say hi hi and uh, we're going to start doing the servo and getting the hardware on it. Of course, this is already set up for Speedmaster uh, rudder. We're using a different strut. To, it's a little bit longer to create more lift or a little bit more stability. This is the one we'll be using right here. And it'll just create a lot more stability. So that's the reason we're using that. So. That's it guys, hit like and subscribe. If you like what you see, subscribe. Down there at that bell, hit the bell for upcoming episodes on this right here until we get it done and tested. And testing is gonna be something because we're gonna be on 8S, so this thing will probably be getting close to 100. Y'all have a good day.